If you are a filmmaker and you have to shoot a dance choreography one day for sure, it might be music videos, romantic movies or dance video or even a Bollywood movie, they all have dance scenes, you know, but you can shoot them without knowing these tips. So it's time for the intro. Boom! <laughs> Welcome to my channel, my name is Kin, a dance and a metrographer, but I also work as a dance choreographer for a team who currently competed in America's Talent show. Then what I learned was shooting dancing, which was a little tricky and different. So today I'm gonna share you five essential tips you need to know when you are shooting a dance choreography just in three minutes. So let's start the video. The first tip is you are gear. Firstly, I would tell you not to shoot a dance video handheld. Yet, I know dance is about moving and we can make their dance movement look better with camera movements. But if your camera is way too shaky, it will just make the viewers feel dizzy. So I would totally recommend you to use a steady cam or gimbal crane. But if you don't have any expensive gears, then just use a tripod. But if you don't still have a tripod, it's still okay. Just put your camera on somewhere that is not shaky or stable. Then you can make your dance footage look dynamic with key frames in post production. I think the result will be pretty amazing but just don't shoot and hurt. Tips number two is you need to know your camera setting. The most common problem I see when people shoot a dance video is the focus. You know, no one would enjoy a blurry dance video, so autofocus is your friend. And you need to bump up your f-star value as high as you can when shooting a dance video to keep every dancer's in focus. Here's one more trick that I learned during my dance career. You know dance is about strong and fast, but if your camera setting is wrong, it will make them look slower in the video. Then all you have to do is, you just need to shoot with minimal frame by seconds and higher shutter speed. Trust me, it will make a very huge difference. Test number three is you need to know your camera angles, camera movement and shot size. Low angle shots are pretty popular when shooting dance because it makes the dancers look powerful and people are used to watching dance performance in front rows which is kinda like low angle view so it makes the viewer feel natural. High angle shot is used when you want to show the numbers and unity of the crew. You can shoot it with a jib crane or a drone and it will make your dance videos a lot more cinematic. For the short size, it's better to take different shots like close-up shots, crowd shots or medium shots for your video. So you can combine them in both and make it more dynamic. And last but not least, you can add more interest to your dance video with song out intro or keyframe in post production or even with an art shot where you cycle around your dancers and shoot. Now it's time for the tips number four. Pre-production is the key. You know I shot many dance videos throughout my whole career and I found that it's just wasting your time and energy. If you shoot sending without a plan, I always ask myself before shooting sending how many dancers are there, what's the choreography, where's the location, what kind of music they will be using or how many times can I rehearse with my dancers because I do know that it will be pain in the ass to shoot sending without preparation. Tips number five is the most important. Have fun. Guys, I'm not joking. Your cameras were as eyes for the viewer. So if, if the cameraman is not having fun, the viewers won't have any fun too. You won't feel any vibe or tempo or the music if you are being too serious or too intense. So, you know, just have fun. And it's kind of important to keep your dancers in ease to reduce camera stress during shooting. I hope this video will absolutely help you to shoot amazing dance video. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe my channel and click the bell button below to notify you when we upload something new. Thanks for your time and see you guys in the next video.